So it's been about 24 hours since I put on the lingo. It's been working fine. Took a shower this morning, had no problem. I was afraid since it didn't have an over patch that water might get in there, but no, it seems to have no issue. And sleeping with it was fine. There was no discomfort and obviously it didn't come off. When I borrowed my daughter's iPhone this morning so I could check out the app to see what kind of readings it had gotten. Last night, very low, unbelievably low numbers, 50s, 60s. So it, I, that first 18 hours or so, you really can't go by the numbers it gives you. However, today it's catching up. And you can see on the blue screen, that's the Lingo. On the left is the Stello. So pretty close. And looking at the graph for the past 12 or so hours, you can see it follows the same pattern. But again, the numbers that the Lingo would get to were lower than I know they really could be. Though it would have been nice if my blood glucose really was that low. This is the graph going back to when I started wearing it yesterday. You can see that period of no data. That was during the night when I wasn't within Bluetooth range for too long a time. And so I don't know how many readings it can store before it absolutely needs to talk to your phone to send the data. But there is a limit because I lost out on that a uh, couple hours worth of data. But the two dashed lines you can see on the graph there are 70 and 140. And look how far below 70 it showed me being overnight, definitely down in the 50s, and I know my blood glucose was not down there. Down here at the bottom, there's an opportunity to log events when it sees something noteworthy in the blood sugar graph, whether a high point, a low point, or a rapid rise or fall. You can then go and add an event, like a meal or an activity. Or stress, yeah, that's another good one too. And I actually, last week, had a very stressful event, and oh my gosh, what my blood sugar did on that day. They have this thing called Lingo Counts, which I've got to read more up on how that works. And then my average glucose of 71, that's for day and night, so definitely way too low. But I do think like with my Stello CGM, first 18, 24 hours, mm. Fortunately with the Stello, after I'd had it one day, I actually was going into the doctor for blood work. So they drew it there at the lab. And then I made a note of what the Stello read at that time. So I was able to see that it had gotten really close by that point. And this is where it's nice with the lingo having that minute by minute update. It says my glucose is 94, but the Stello is showing 104. Well, that's because the Stello is showing from 14 minutes ago. I've got to sit here and look at it and wait till it gets to the 15 minute update cycle. And then for one minute, it will be as up to date as the lingo. But then it's another 14 minutes after that before I get another update. So even though it takes the readings every five minutes, it's a lot of sitting and waiting to see what it's doing right now. So I give the lingo points for that, but I also think that might make me even a little bit more obsessed with watching the numbers if they're coming in every minute. At least with the Stello, there's no point staring at it because it's gonna be 15 minutes before you get any update. And it is, I can tell you, easy to get kind of obsessed doing this. And there we go, 102 on the latest update of the Stello. Reports my glucose numbers occasionally still on the lower side. I'm gonna give it another day. By then it should be pretty well coordinated to how my actual glucose is. So I'll update again tomorrow and show some more features of the app. Since I had that blood draw at the lab at the same time I was wearing the Stello, I know that's pretty accurate. So I think when the Lingo catches up to those numbers, then I'll know it's accurate as well. So it's the next day. Lingo's been working fine. Let me show you what the glucose reading is right now compared to the Stello. 114 and 121. And there are the graphs for the day. So pretty close, graphs follow the same line. Still seeing the lingo a little bit lower, but if that's how it continues to be, I'll just make a habit of adding like five points to it to figure that's my actual blood sugar. I've been getting pretty good readings on both devices. I've figured out a few things to do in a different order that are actually doing a pretty good job of keeping my blood sugar from spiking quite as high. So I'm pleased about that and we'll tell you about that in a video dedicated to that subject. As for the Lingo software, it's telling me I have a Lingo count of 15. So let's see what that means. 22 Lingos since I first put on the continuous glucose monitor. So what is this Lingo count? Well, it's a little mysterious. It has to do with meeting my goals and staying within healthy blood sugar levels. And apparently it takes some time to sort out what those goals should be about a week it says so i'll have to do an update later on to see what this is all about and how well i'm meeting those goals and according to this graph i seem to be doing best in the mornings and on today's graph you can see where i'm currently at i finished my lunch hour or so ago so that's my blood sugar rise right there up to the 120s 
there's breakfast. Now going further back, this uh, bottom dashed line is 70. And it's saying I was a fair bit down below 70 still at night. It's possible that that's when I was lying on my right side. And so I get that compression low where the um, fluid sort of gets pushed away from the sensor in the arm. And then it gives you an especially low blood sugar reading. But really it's not that low. It's just because it doesn't sense the glucose. Okay, and then we're back here into the previous day. And then this was way back when I first put it on and it had some gaps that first night. So it's nice to be able to scroll through and go back in history and see all these things. Now my Stello sensor notified me today that it's going to expire in 24 hours and I have a 12 hour grace period. If I want to slap another one on, it can sort of pick up where this one left off. With the Stello, you have to order two. That's the minimum for about uh, between $90 and $100 for a month's worth. Whereas with the Lingo, you can order a single sensor like I did. So I don't think I'm going to put my second Stello sensor on right away. I'm going to live with the Lingo for a while and see. That may help my obsessiveness too because I won't have my results at hand be looking at it all the time since it goes to my daughter's iPhone. And that's probably for the best. It's easy to get obsessive about this kind of thing. So this will give me a couple weeks to take advantage of what I've already learned to improve my blood sugar numbers. And then when the lingo expires, I can go put the next Stello back on and I'll have 15 more days of coverage. And at that point I can decide which one do I want to continue to use, if either, or maybe I'll have decided it's better not to obsess over this. I've learned some things about how to better manage my blood glucose, so I'll take those lessons and go. And so I'll take what I've learned, put that into practice, but not keep obsessing over this information overload. But I will be doing a comparison video, a full comparison of the two CGMs and the apps that come with each. I can tell you that I really do like being able to scroll back and see more than 24 hours worth of information. If I hadn't installed a different app for the Stello and just went with the app that came with it, all I'd have is that graph for 24 hours and then even your log notes that you make disappear. I don't understand why they can't let you have your data for a longer period of time. Maybe with people complaining about it, they'll update and fix that. If you'd like to try out the lingo, just 50 bucks, you can try one sensor for two weeks and see how that works for you. Then if you like, you can sign up for um, packages of additional sensors in bulk where they give you a discount. For more information about the lingo, you can check out the link down below this video and I'll see you so in control in my next review. There are so many choices and you don't want to stress. You want your health food at home receiving only the best. That's what we're here for. We give honest reviews. Paris DX